What's up everybody, this is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13, and I am very excited to present to you this latest build that I have in front of me that are just absolutely stunningly gorgeous. This is for a 2020 Hyundai Kona EV. However, these upper lights are the same for all Hyundai Konas from 2018 to 2021. These are sometimes referred to as the DRL lights or the upper lights or the running lights. On my Nissan Juke, they used to be referred to as the gator lights. I personally like to call them eyebrow lights. It doesn't matter. It's all the same thing. It's basically a turn signal assembly in there. And then these cells right here are the DRL, which is always a running light white on the Kona. So what I've done to them is give them a full makeover. The obvious part is of course, all of the paintwork. It is a fully gloss blacked interior with this absolutely stunningly gorgeous green accent line that goes through the whole thing. And there's a couple little magical tricks that I did on this one that really makes it stand out and really changes the styling, just subtle little touches. But basically this is what it came out looking like. The original housing also has some other little accessories that are on the inside that I removed, so I cleaned it up. In addition to the paintwork, I removed the factory DRL board and the factory DRL driver, and it got replaced with some UCS LED strips. And I chose the 12 millimeter, which is the super wide one because the heat dissipation capabilities. This is an addressable RGBW product that I got from Next Level Neo that goes along there, and it still will allow me to have a white DRL mode while driving, but it'll also allow me to do startup and shutdown animations via the Blue Ghost and any color changing moving effects that I wanna do. That Blue Ghost module is also going to allow me to integrate with the turn signal, which will flow really nicely across and then end with that factory turn signal location, which I have since replaced with a GTR lighting carbide 2.0 series LED bulb. Those do not require resistors for the turn signal circuit, so I really prefer those bulbs in this application. Something I decided to do differently on these assemblies that I've never done before is how the wires come out of the housing. This is the factory plug. Originally, three of those pins were used for the factory DRLs. So what I ended up doing is reassigning them to the data in power supply and ground supply to that UCS strip. And so I get to use the factory plug. The only thing I need is a data out wire, which is going to be penetrated right through that with a tiny little one eighth inch hole and some butyl to seal it. This is a beautiful way to have less wire penetrations and utilize a factory plug. However, it does require the vehicle to be present on site for me to do that type of installation. The other downside, which isn't really a big downside, is the fact that I can't just bench test this and show you the way that these things perform. So I've got these lights on the vehicle now. Obviously, this is a temporary installation for the sake of this build video. Normally, I'd be doing this on the bench, but like I said, it uses the factory plug, so it has to be on the vehicle for me to hook up the wires. So first of all, I'm gonna showcase the DRL mode. You're gonna have a white, it is a pure white chip DRL, and it's still really bright, even though the reflector housings are black blacked out. I have found that as long as you're using a high quality automotive grade finish with a base coat clear coat, it is a shiny enough surface that it will reflect out. But what we're really interested in is the color changing stuff, something like this. And believe it or not, this is actually on 15% brightness. So if I ramp it up all the way, the camera just doesn't make it look as good. So I keep it pretty low for the sake of making these videos. So you can actually see kind of what I'm seeing. Just like any video I make with Blue Ghost controllers is you have a whole bunch of pre-made designs and stuff that you can play around with. I really like the way that this one looks. This is my Christmas theme. It's just a cool effect. This is another beautiful mode called slats, but you get the idea. I mean, basically all we're doing is we're looking at pretty light. What's funny is you can see the reflection of the LEDs in there. You're not seeing the LEDs. That is a reflection on that paint because if I haven't gloated enough on the fact that I think I'm a pretty superb painter. So you don't see it unless you're all up on close, but that's my favorite thing to do is get up all up on close. Now I haven't actually installed the Blue Ghost module on this car yet, so it's not hooked up to the turn signal, but I did want to showcase the LED bulb in action. That's what it's going to look like. And then this is actually the Tetris mode just going off just for funsies. All right, that's all I'm going to say for this build for now. Make sure you are subscribed so that you can see the future build videos, which will be the installed video when this and the headlights are on this car. It's going to be something really, really pretty. Pricing and product information will be located in the video description. So if you're interested in having your Kona upper lights modified, then by all means, check that out and shoot me an email via the build request form on the website. This is 13 with Superior Mobile by 13. Thank you so much for watching. I'll talk to you guys later. See ya.